Hello everyone, Salt Rider here and I'm here with another G.I. Joe Fix video. Uh, we've got Bazooka here. Who's come today? Um, he's in a bit of a bad way. He's had a few injuries during the war with the Cobras. Uh, or Cobra even. And yeah, I'm going to have a go at trying to restore him. So I'll tell you what's up with him. Uh, we have his, his Bazooka here. Which has got a little bit of a cracking. Which hopefully can be sorted with just a little bit of glue. He has uh, some paint wear, and which I'm not too bothered about to be honest. But these cracks here are a little bit concerning, so I am going to try and fill those in. A bit more paint wear on his fodder and on his wonderful moustache. Um, so that will need replacing. Uh, he needs a new thumb, which is easy enough to do. He needs a new groin. Unfortunately, his groin has snapped, and his backpack is missing a few missiles. Now, um, probably the thing that I didn't know how to do before I purchased this um, was fix this groin. I didn't know if it was actually fixable or not. At the same time as this, I ordered another figure, which again had a broken groin, and last night I had a go at um, repairing it. Oh, but this is Duke. You can see I have um, repaired a broken crotch there. It's not as smooth as I was like. Um, I'll go into how I've done that on this video. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a go at restoring these guys. Um, Duke's almost there, just needs a bit of paint. And I am happy that the green of the trousers is near enough the same, so I haven't got to buy two shades of green. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna, the other thing I'm going to have to do with this guy bazooka here is i'm gonna to have to tighten up his elbow a little bit probably some ptfe tape replace that o-ring and then i think we'll be good to go um so yeah i'll stop and start i'm not going to show you exactly how i mold these and uh molding on camera because it's going to be really difficult to do for all the uh, groin pieces and new thumb i'm going to be using the green stuff uh, which is kind of like milli pot, but it dries like a plastic. That's what I used on 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 Duke over here. So yeah, uh, let's get to it. So I've just finished the first stage of repairs. Um, so I'll start off with well, I'll start off with what I did first. So and this was probably the most difficult part. Um, I filled in those cracks. Uh, you can see there's still a little bit of a crack there. Um, Needs to have a little bit of a wipe down on it, um, but paint will cover up a lot of that, a bit of a smooth down. Um, the cracks were a little bit of a pain to do actually, um, because I didn't want to put much of the green stuff on there to fill in the gap. So I was going to use Milliput, but that was just more money, I might as well just use this stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I think it'll be okay, bit of paint, uh, it'll look perfectly fine. Next up was the thumb, and you can see I've repaired him, made a new one, a bit green, but uh, again, doesn't matter. Again, a little bit of smoothing off needed, but this is really close up. Now that's how the original, the other thumb looks, so it's not a bad comparison, a little bit thicker, um, but it'll work with a bit of paint on. Just need to sort out that bit of overspill there, so it doesn't show, um, but yeah, there's the thumb sorted. Next piece I did was... The backpack, probably the piece I'm most dissatisfied with because it's so difficult to work with these little pieces. But from a distance and from behind and a little bit of paint, um, I don't think you'll notice that at all. Some of these missiles heads that we've replaced, uh, as I say, these things are so, so tiny. It's really difficult to A, get them to stick and uh, B, get them to look right. Um, so, yeah. Um, Least part I'm happy with, but it'll do the job. And finally, we have a new crotch piece for Bazooka. Um, really happy with how this turned out. A few lessons learned from Duke, like getting a pair of scissors to, to sharply cut off the interior edge. Um, I think that'll work out really, really well. Um, 
so yeah, this guy's had quite a lot of repairs done to him. Um, he wasn't a lot of money. Uh, as I say, I think, I think it cost me around about eight pound or eight pound fifty. Um, and he has got all his accessories with him, just they are damaged. Um, but just have to go and go to my local hobby craft, pick up some blue paint and some green paint, and uh, wait twenty four hours for these to dry. Uh, and then start to touch up the paint and restore bazooka. Okay, so to get this guy painted up, um, I used two kinds of paints. Tamiya, I think it is, um, acrylic paint. And I used this Humbra Blue for his uh, neckerchief. Or the, not neckerchief, sorry, the, the blue part of his t-shirt. Now, I got a little bit excited. Um, I already started to paint this guy up and put him back together. Um, so I'll talk you through the stuff that I've done. Uh, first of all, um, we'll start off with his head. And you can see I've touched up all the uh, worn moustache and his hairline, uh, which worked out pretty well. Uh, you can see I've painted his neck piece. And all that, though the cracks are still kind of there if you look really carefully, they're a lot better than what they were. I'm really happy with that colour as well. Uh, the biggest fix on this guy was, of course, the groin area. And as you can see, it is a little bit darker there than what I would have liked. Um, but um, from a distance on a shelf, you really can't tell. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest with you. Um, I'm happy with how it's turned out. And there comes a point where uh, my, my friend Rudo, Rudy Zazu, said, you need to know when to stop messing. And with this guy, I absolutely knew that this was the point to stop messing with him. I also repaired his hand. Um, so as you can see, he's got a brand new thumb. It is a little bit thicker than the other side, but I'm okay with that. Um, I did notice that a bit of paint hasn't taken on the inside. Um, so next time, I'm, next time I'm mixing a flesh colour, I'll, I'll just... Give that a bit of a dab up. Um, but overall, I think he's turned out really, really well. Uh, one thing I did do, his arms were very loose on this guy. Um, so I used, I should mention this earlier, PTFE tape. And what did, I did is, on the ball joints, I just wrapped a good layer of that round. And it's tightened these up a real treat. Um, so he can hold a pose now. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how he's turned out. Of course, the other part that needed fixing was his backpack. And even though that's not perfect, again, from a distance, on a shelf, you're not going to be able to tell. Um, I think that's worked out quite well. And a little bit of paint underneath on the good missiles um, has actually worked out quite well. Because um, there were some stress marks under there. So, yeah. So let me get it all his kit on and then show you what he looks like. Here his bazooka, all done up. Um, I am really, really happy with how he's turned out. One thing I forgot to mention is the paint's dry pretty matte, so I've put a small layer of varnish on the top just to give it a bit of a sheen. It was a lot of effort, um, a lot of fun. The main frustration, I think, is trying to match this green because it's not just a standard a standard colour. Uh, I have found a, an, an old vintage base for him, so there we are. Uh, his bazooka does need that bit of work, a little bit of glue still on there, but I don't need to show you how to glue something. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's not been that difficult to do. I've learnt a lot of lessons about doing the groin pieces now compared to Duke's. So I think I'll be a lot more comfortable doing that and maybe even doing a better job moving forward. But I'm really happy with how Bazooka's turned out. Uh, so, yeah. This has been Zort Rider. This has been Bazooka. Uh, and this has been another Figure Force Fix. I'll catch you again soon.